Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to our tech is and in this video we're gonna talk about uh, how to fix uh, IMEI null or baseband unknown problem in Moto devices. So as you can see, this is Moto E in my hand and in this video we're gonna talk about uh, how to fix that. So first of all, uh, let me check the IMEI of this phone and whenever you check the IMEI, it just directly jump out from the screen. And again, I try that. Again, it's the same problem. So it's jump out from the screen. And the baseband of this phone is now the so baseband about okay okay as you can see this baseband version is also unknown so there is a uh, baseband is unknown so to fix that problem you required uh, Motorola device manager link is below the description check the link uh, second fast ABD fast boot drivers also in the link check the description and the third one is the flash file of this Moto E which phone you have means so first of all turn off the phone and simply hold the power key and the volume down key until phone boots to boot menu boots to fast boot mode so so as you can see this is the phone is now on in the fast boot mode so now you eligible to flash your phone uh, flash the network of this phone so uh, so first of all you required uh, original cable means uh, data cable which comes with this phone or any high quality data cable for to flash the phone so this is the where is flash cable? so this is the uh, cable so let me connect it uh, and connect it with the computer first let's simply jump it in computer so let's connect it, connect it on the ends. and uh, Install the Motorola device, download the Motorola device manager, and simply install it on your computer. And download the ABD drivers, ABD and fastboot drivers. They both are in the fastboot. Both are in the zip file. So zip file. So compress it and work through it. So let's see. So now the phone is connected. So it's showing here. So let me show you the Motorola device manager. Okay, here is the Motorola device manager. This is it, and the, this is the ABD fast uh, ABD uh, G file of the ABD drivers means ABD fast boots. So just simply copy the uh, flash files to the ABD fast boot. So now start the process of installing your uh, installing uh, flash phone, means flashing your phone. So first simply type uh, fast boot and fast boot devices. So so I have to type in M fast boot, not only fast boot. It's fast boot space devices. So again, let's start it. To get the uh, uh, to get the command prompt, you have to hold the shift button and simply left click over the any side of this of this screen. And now it's uh, started. So simply type M fast boot space. Uh, devices so as you can see the fast boot devices is connected so it's now see I have to only means uh, flash the network of this phone so I have to type the modem so there is the note where is the note I have made a note okay so I have to flash this uh, uh, 5M fast boot flash modem FDS so copy and paste over it and hit the enter key simply it's flashed now again flash modem 1 means for it's for sim 1 again copy it again enter again sim 1 is flashed it's now for sim 2 copy it and flash it so so it's now flashed so this is the way in that way you can easily uh, fix the baseband problem of your phone or I mean I know but uh, just like there are different uh, baseband for different locations means different countries so for uh, for USA there is different uh, baseband for uh, Europe there is different baseband for Asian countries there is different baseband for Korean uh, some Korean countries there is some means Korean country it's different baseband so the base the, the selecting the baseband of the phone is very necessary means correct baseband if you flashed with the uh, 
wrong flash file then your phone will be just like having the same problem it will not going fix so so make sure uh, the to flash it flash your phone with correct baseband of your phone it means correct flash file of your phone so so now the phone is booting up Let's see okay let's see now and uh, this uh, this flashing of uh, network will not going to delete your any personal data from your phone so as you can see them this is the imei now it's showing the imei and like now let's check the baseband of the phone the baseband okay okay this is it at the baseband of this phone so this is the way in that way you can easily fix the IMNL or unknown baseband problem in any Motorola phones. So thanks for watching this. If you like my video, please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay tuned.